Well, good morning and welcome to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fonts. And I'm Brittany Flowers. We have lots to get to today. On this show, the Square Society is holding their annual black and white ball. We're going to get a look at some of the fashions. Look at these ladies. Ooh, I oh, love it. Gorgeous they look. Yes. We talk about hairstyles and what to expect at this year's ball. Awesome. And this week's for trends and techniques. We're talking about different ways to color your hair. Natalie, look at that. Colors and I trends that are very popular. Vibrant hair. We'll talk about ombres and everything like that. Oh, I want purple. Okay, and we will go to the Frankie Rollins kitchen to catch up with executive chef Ted Polfelt. Today he's making lemon thyme olive oil cookies. Okay. If it weren't Chef Ted, I'd say, ooh. I know, right. But, uh, right. but it's Chef Ted, and you know they're going to be awesome, and I am so looking forward to that. Yes. All right, we just got back from a little family vacation. I missed Jeff. Oh, I missed you too. Mm -hmm. But we had fun. We went to Pennsylvania, where my parents live. Yeah. And it's a six and a half hour drive, and we were just there for like three days. Yeah. You know, really two, because you travel. Friday was a travel day, Monday was a travel day. Yeah. And you think that we were going to California and staying for four months. Uh -huh. The way my husband packs. And you're like this too, yes, aren't you? I'm so that person. It Did he pack like makes crazy? me crazy. <laughs> Okay, because I'm very organized and I like things or in their place. Yeah. Everything has its home, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And when we pack, uh -huh. we should do, you know, an organized style. So when I got home, you know, I'm ready for Paul to like, all right, let's get in the car, let's go. No, mm -hmm. it is, all right, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be right there, 15, 15 minutes, we're gonna leave in 15 minutes, okay, everybody? Yeah, no, That's about me. an hour later, uh, he's still packing the car. Uh -huh. We get there and my parents are like, how long are you staying? Backpack, my husband's a, he loves backpacks. I don't know what it is, he's obsessed with them right now. We had backpacks lining the uh -huh. dining room floor. Listen, Natalie, when you take your own car, you can load up all of your things. That's I exactly what he's thinking. <laughs> We had cords, me. cords for electronics that I don't even know we brought. Just in case, you like need the backup stuff. Yes. Just in case, even if it's for two days. What if you change three times a day. Like you can't just bring two outfits. We weren't doing anything. <laughs> we were you know sitting what? around, visiting with family, He's doing nothing. nothing. And we brought so much stuff. That's me. I am Paul. I bring, I overpack, especially with having kids. When we go on the road trips, or if we, you know, we went on an airplane, and we'll talk about this in a minute, but we went on an airplane with Sawyer, and I yeah. had, I think I had two bags. No, three bags. Like, like that you check like big bags? No, you a, a oh. backpack, a duffel bag, and my purse, if that counts as a bag. But like in all of them, I had yeah. like different things. For, I had a book, I had Play-Doh, I had a stuffed animal, I had all the things. Well, yeah, and it was like, I it was definitely that. too much. Right. And I don't realize that it's too much until it's the end. But it's like, I can't help it. It's like, oh, what if I need this? I'll be so mad at myself. Question, so for each child, do you have a blanket and a pillow and mm -hmm. electronics? No, it's and... this <laughs> Well, we do, we do if we're on a road trip. Then you need Not a blanket to hold the, because we don't have like a minivan or anything, so we have like a laptop in case they want to watch something in, on the laptop. Yeah. So that has to be propped in a certain way. So he gets, oh, and then shades for the windows. We need oh, um, pillowcases pillow to block the sun. So he goes in and of course it's never neat. So everything's kind of like piled mm -hmm. and stacked and folded neatly. He's rummaging through because <laughs> he needs a certain pillowcase in order yes. for it to shade for the children. I need to take notes from Paul. No, you don't. No <laughs> one totally should am. ever travel with somebody like Paul. Yes. Um, anyway, we yes, had a lovely time. Overpacker. But. I'm a way overpacker. Okay, speaking of traveling with little ones, more first time parents are going viral for handing out goodie bags. Have you heard of this to fellow <gasps> passengers? on a flight apologizing it. for any disturbance that their baby may cause. Yeah, it's true. People are passing out goodie bags with a little note that says, it's my first time on an airplane. I'm only a year and a half or whatever. Uh -huh. But an opinion piece on Mashable is criticizing the trend. The author uh, is a mother of twins and says giving out gifts sends the message that we should feel bad for having babies who, you know, act like baby. <laughs> she adds that for every way a baby can be disruptive on a flight, there's at least one way for an adult to be just as annoying. That is true. Um, her takeaway, get noise canceling headphones. I, I totally experienced this and Louis CK has this joke where he talks about, you know, when you're traveling with babies or somebody, people think that if it's not the person with the baby, they think that it's their problem. But it's not like if you're traveling with a baby, like 
it's awful for you. Yes. Like, and I, yes. Oh, it makes me feel so bad if Sawyer, right. like, we traveled to across the country to Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. She overall, she was good, but it's like it's not something that's happening to these other people. Like, right. This is happening to me. Right. Right. This is my husband would get so me. upset when the kids were noisy and they yes. would cry, and yeah. we had so many people, you know, in church or whatever. They're like. We've been there. We've done that. I we know. know what it's like. It doesn't bother us. You know, you really feel bad. Yes. But I have a question. What was in the goodie bags? The goodie bags? I mean, I've seen, seen any of the... <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I don't think so. But, like, there's, like, candy. Oh, um, really? Little, I, I don't know, little knick-knack thingies. But then you're, That's like, spending your own money. Exactly. How in the world can you afford something like that? I don't know. I don't get it. And, the, you know, you get the looks... Yeah, the looks, the looks of the people, and you're like, well, what do you want me to do? Do you want, like, it's a... Right. It's a baby. Should do what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. All right, there is a video going around, and this is what nightmares are made of, okay? Yes. I watched this with my girls, and they just couldn't okay. believe it. It's a giant alligator that was recently spotted in Florida, and it's getting national attention. Take a look at this. Cell phone video. Capture the big... Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Goodness. His nickname is Humpback. He's creeping out <laughs> of the bushes at the Circle B Bar Reserve, a protected wildlife area in Lakeland. People nearby just looked on as the gator seemed to just casually pass by no, and after no. a stroll. Uh, the monster's size is estimated between 12 and 14 feet long. My, my, we Ooh. watched this last night uh, with my kids, and they looked, and they were like, why is everybody just standing That's there? my question. <laughs> I would never. Like, I, you would, I would be gone. I, I would be it. gone. I only have to be... Faster than at least one of those people, and I would be <laughs> knocking them down. Out of there, I would not care. I, I would be like George Costanza, yes. you know, the Seinfeld episode yes. when he's pushing all the children out of the way because of the fire. Yes. That would be me. Yes. It would, totally. I don't know what I would do if I saw something. Another like reason that. why I'm glad I don't live in Florida. Alligators. Crazy things happen the in things. Florida all the time. Yes, that is true. You're going to Florida too. I'm going to Florida. What am I thinking? <laughs> All right, we have a great show. Coming up on Daytime, the Vinton Hair Studio is here this week for trends and techniques. We are talking about different ways to color your hair. Look at that. Oh, no, I love it. Plus, we'll be headed to the Frankie Rollins Kitchen with Ted Polfelt. Today, he's making lemon time cookies. We'll have the recipe for you. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge.